Hello, my beautiful souls. Okay, so this is trulydivine.com. I want to share this with you. New year, new you. It's 2021. Okay, I have an awesome deal for you guys. When you use my code ZEN30, you will get 30% off anything that you purchase from the site. We have here natal birth chart analysis with astrology and numerology, relationship analysis with astrology and numerology. We also have the solar return forecast relocation analysis. And then when you click here, you see they have free healing and wellness guides. Also tons of articles here that you can further look into. Okay, let's see, going beyond your horoscope. It's a really great site. I had my chart done with them and it's amazing. Okay, so it's 2021. There's a lot going on. You're going to want to know what the heck is going on. So make sure you check it out. Trulydivine.com, code ZEN30 for 30% off. Mwah. Peace and love. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel, Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and we are going to dive in and see what do you need to focus on at this time for your spiritual growth. Okay, so without further ado, my darlings, let's get into it. <sighs> Guys, guardians, ancestors, angels, and ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. What do they need to focus on at this time for their spiritual growth? Thank you. All right. So we have Mother Earth coming through. So you need to focus more on uh, spending some more time out in nature, getting grounded or just being more grounded in life. For some of you, uh, you might be a, a very nature person, but you really haven't had the time or the energy or the drive to get back out there and do things. You're being told that's exactly what you need to do because that's what boosts your spirits. That's what makes you feel good. That's what makes you feel happy getting out there and feeling connected with the earth, with mother nature. So definitely go back out there and do that. Even if it's just gardening in your backyard, just do something in nature. Okay. Also, like I said, you, you have to get back to feeling grounded. So whatever it is that you need to do to feel grounded, definitely that's what you need to focus on for your spiritual growth. Also gratitude. Okay. You guys need to focus on gratitude at this time. So some of you, um, I'm getting that you're not, you're focused on, on getting more. Okay. I have a lot of messages coming through, so just bear with me because this is a general reading. So I'm trying to touch on a lot of different people coming through. Um, some of you might be happy where you are, like with what you have, you acknowledge key words here. You always have to be mindful of the words that you use. You acknowledge what's around you. Like, you know, if you're surrounded by a loving family and friends, but let's say career wise, you want to thrive. You're not where you want to be in that area of your life, but you are okay financially, but you're focused on more. You know what I'm saying? Not That's not a bad thing. It's good to have goals. It's good to want to achieve things. There's nothing wrong with that. But you have to show gratitude for what you have because everything is a stepping stone, okay? So you, you had to get here before you can get here. You know, like if you're climbing stairs, if, if these stairs are missing, you're not stepping from here to there in one, one foot, you know? You, you have to get those stones. You have to make those steps. So show gratitude for all of the steps that you've taken to get where you are at this point so that like, you know, in, in a video game, another one will appear and you can go up higher. You know what I mean? Um, a good way to practice, and I'm going to do a video on this this week because um, I've been actually getting a lot of good feedback. I've been mentioning it in a couple of readings um, and it's very accurate. It's been helping people and people are actually practicing it. And, it, you know, and it's it's working like I, I said it would. So I'm, I'm glad that people have taken those steps. So basically here, gratitude. I'm going to touch on it real fast because I want to finish the rest of your reading. Gratitude. You want to show gratitude, appreciation. Um, you want to practice good karma. You want to practice the law of attraction. There's so many different ways that you can do it. Now, there's key ways that people will post videos and say, well, do this, do that. Okay, yeah, that's fine. You can do that. But if you want to do something like and get results really fast, then I suggest donations. When you make donations, you'd be surprised. I make donations as often as I can. I donate to my veterans, whether it's you know money through a site 
with a charity I've chosen or, you know, I go through my home every so often and I say, oh, okay, um, I'm going to get rid of these, these items, clothing, you know, home things, whatever. I'm donating this to the veterans because I'm showing gratitude and appreciation for those that fight for this country. Even if they don't go into war, they still signed up just in case to do it. So that bless them that they weren't, you know, in time of war that they had to, but they were willing to. And that's the point. It, it's all about mentality also the way you see things perspective you have to show gratitude for the things that you have so i'll make donations i also donate to uh, a lot of different doggy charities and stuff like that and whenever i can help somebody i do case in point i do free readings i've been doing them for almost two years like at least a year and a half here on youtube they're free you know you all you guys have to do to show gratitude like the video subscribe you know, share the video. You can even make a donation, a dollar. It's not about, this is what you have to understand. It's not about the amount. It's that you're showing the universe. I am grateful. I appreciate, you know, that was so nice of this person to do that. You know, even someone opening a door for you, say thank you, you know. You have to show appreciation and gratitude for everything. And by you showing the universe, oh, I'm grateful for this. I appreciate this person. I appreciate that person. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, here's a, a donation. Like when you, you go someplace, you'll tip a dollar at the, the bartender or something, you buy a drink, you know, because you say, oh yeah, here. It's the same thing on YouTube, everywhere, whatever. It's It doesn't have to just be me. I give blessings on everybody that makes a donation, subscribes to my channel, likes the video, leaves a positive comment, you know, anything that you do to show appreciation to me, I put a blessing on you. And I do this every single day for everybody. It works. But you do it whatever way you see fit. I'm going to bestow a blessing on you anyway, as long as you, you know, bestow one on me in any of those forms that I mentioned. But this is what you have to work on. You definitely have to work on your gratitude because some of you are are not, and it has to be selfless. That's also a key thing there. It has to be selfless. And you have to be mindful of your actions. So there's a lot of people, I don't know why the law of attraction isn't working for me, but then you'll go on social media, dislike people's videos, which only affects your karma, not theirs, because you're showing the universe when you act negatively or speak negatively, you're showing the universe, oh, that's what I'm sending out. That's what I want back. And they send it back times three, keep in mind. So you dislike a video well it's coming back to you in another way times three negative for negative positive for positive so just keep that in mind okay and clarity so i feel we covered clarity already with this you have to get that clarity you have to change your perspective you have to be more appreciative of the things you have to show more gratitude in order to receive that gratitude in return and it has to be selfless you have to genuinely feel that way the, the universe knows if you're full of shit okay okay so let's see what else do you need to focus on at this time for your spiritual growth okay so we have here pisces coming through um I believe we're in the time of Pisces right now. So you might be dealing with the Pisces, or this could be, again, the reading right now is focused around what do you need to do now? This energy is wistful, endlessly loving, compassionate, and forgiving. It confuses and softens resolve. So endlessly loving, compassionate, and forgiving. Okay, so like I said, this is definitely coming through for you guys, Virgo. You need to be more selfless, more appreciative, get a different perspective, get that clarity, and become more grounded in order for you to increase your spiritual growth. All right, let's see what blockages do you have in your chakras at this time that you need to work on? What blockages do we have or do you have in your chakras that you need to unblock? Okay, so we have the third eye chakra coming through with dreams messages signs symbols and guidance okay thank you so much okay so i feel for some of you you're getting messages in your dreams you're having dreams of situations or maybe a person in particular that you're dealing with here and and you're getting these messages and signs in your dreams you might also be seeing synchronicity symbols you're being guided prophetically in your dreams 
And, you know, like I said, with synchronicities, you might not be paying attention to it, but this is definitely what's coming through to be like, hello. So they're telling you, hello, this is what you need to do. And, and you see a lot of green here. I'm also getting for some of you, um, this may have something to do with your heart chakra as well. So this might be a love issue for some of you. Okay, then we have the solar plexus chakra coming through with personal boundaries, choice, assertiveness, empowerment, and authenticity. So like I said, you might not be very authentic at this time. You might be, you know, creating some personal boundaries. <sighs> Again, clarity, being grounded. Like it's just for some of you, you have like a, a mask on I'm getting. And that's by choice. So you need to work on that as well. Okay, and then we have here the crown chakra with presence, awareness, attention, reality, and connection. This is actually a lot of what we previously covered here coming through. Okay, we have the third eye chakra coming through again. Let me actually move this here. Okay, this is with imagination, focus, experience, and manifestation visualization oh, see the heart chakra coming through did i say with all this green compassion caring empathy acceptance and gentleness so some of you might be a little harsh at this time with with someone or it could even be like yourself that's why you're putting on this mask And seen the last one here, guidance. This is the crown chakra coming through again. Support, love, signs, and direction, guidance. So yeah, you're definitely, your guides are coming through here. They're definitely pointing things out to you. You're just, you're not listening. You're not paying attention because you're not, you're not grounded. Okay. All right, let's see. What other messages do we have? What else do you need to focus on now for your spiritual growth? What else do you need to focus on now for your spiritual growth? Okay, guinea pig. Do your part to illuminate the universe, Archangel Mary. Yeah, do your part. So I'm feeling that you guys aren't, you, you're not... For some of you, again, it's not all of you. This is a general reading, so just take what resonates with you. But for some of you, you're really not practicing your gratitude. You're really not, you know, giving back. You're getting and you're not giving back. I have the word miser that's coming through. Somebody might be like a little miser. It could be with your, your love, your emotions, your finances. All right, let's see. Okay. Yeah, adjustments are required. You definitely have to make some adjustments. And then we have you're very close to achieving your goal. So I feel for those of you that are very close to achieving your goal, there, there isn't much more to do at this time for your spiritual growth it's just a matter of giving back whatever way you see fit but it's time to give back it's time to show compassion for others empathy okay what other messages do we have for virgo what else do they need to focus on now what does Virgo need to focus on now for their spiritual growth, please, and thank you? Okay. Okay, what boundaries need to be created or strengthened within my relationships? Okay, to create more healthy boundaries, which didn't we have that here? Personal boundaries. Okay, so to create more healthy boundaries, we must first get in tune with our own needs, desires, and feelings and believe we are worthy of them. In your relationships, it's essential to know where they end and where you begin. Today's soul action. When we separate our energy from others, we gain clarity. Mm. 
okay? We gain clarity about what we really want. Then we stop doing things that no longer align with ourselves. If you are an empath, you can still be compassionate towards others without taking on their stuff. It is safe to trust that you are not here to fix anyone. Now, what did it say? Compassion, right? What do we have here? Compassionate. Mm -hmm. And what was the other word? Empath. I know I saw that somewhere. Here, empathy. Same card. Mm -hmm. It's all coming together. <laughs> it's all coming together. I mean, it's like... Anyone home? Anyone listening? Okay. Today's mantra. I have everything I need within me now, and so do they. I am worthy of my needs, and I set boundaries based on what's best for me. Okay. And your other card. When was the last time I couldn't stop laughing or smiling? Aw, that's sweet. Go back to a moment when you laughed so hard you almost peed your pants or did. Feel the laughter grow in your body, your cheeks hurting and eyes watering. Maybe there was even a snort or two. Laughter is healing. It reminds us to take life less seriously and find the joy in the little things. Note to self, laugh more often. Okay, today's soul action. Make somebody laugh today. Oh, that's a fun little task. Make somebody laugh today. Okay. All right, so those are your messages, Virgo. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Click the bell, select all. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel out. Feel free to leave a donation. I have the info down below with PayPal or Cash App. If you want to purchase any of these decks, I have the affiliate links down below. If you want to uh, purchase merch, that uh, bar is down below. If you want products, spell work, or a reading, you can go to zenwithinme.com or my Etsy shop. If you're interested in other services, you can check me out on Wizio. And if there's anything else I left out, it's down below in the description box. Just scroll and read, my darlings. I have my, uh, my guy there for mantras. Muy bueno. Check him out. Dayunguru. Love him. He's great. I've been using him for years and no, I don't get anything for promoting him. It's just me showing gratitude and promoting another human being that I feel deserves it because he put the hard work in. Uh, also check me out on TikTok for daily posts. Peace and love guys. Stay safe and I will see you in the next reading.